The radial gradient is one of my favorite tools in Lightroom. In this video, I'll demonstrate techniques for creating and modifying the radial gradient. Now, to open the radial gradient tool, you can either go here to the toolbar and click on it, or you can press Shift-M on the keyboard. Now, you can simply click and drag to make, as the tool implies, a radial gradient. And uh, you can make an oval. Okay, great. Command-Z. Uh, I can hold the shift key and I can constrain it to a perfect circular gradient if I want to do that. And Command Z to undo that. I can hold the option key and click and drag and then I make the gradient basically from corner to corner. For me, I normally use just the regular click and drag to make the gradient. Now there's no way to turn the gradient as you're making it, but I'm going to make it about the size of the bird in this case. And then after the fact, you can see as I hold the cursor towards one of the handles, I get the, the little curved arrow and I can click and drag and rotate the gradient to the shape that I actually want it to be. Now after I build it, I can grab one of these handles and I can change the shape of the gradient symmetrically. So I can go wider or taller. Uh, if I hold the option key and click and drag a handle, then I can go asymmetrically and just change it in the shape of that one handle. And by default, you can scroll down to the bottom of the radial gradient panel here and you'll see invert mask. By default, the gradient is going to affect what's outside of the circle. If I click Invert Mask, then I'm going to affect what's inside the circle. So in this case, if I want to make an exposure adjustment so you can see, I can change the exposure inside the circle. But if I uncheck Invert Mask, then it changes to affect what's outside of the radial gradient. Now one of the things that I like to do first is affect what's outside of the circle and then do different adjustments on the inside of the circle. So if I want to do that, uh, it's kind of a pain to go in and then duplicate this gradient drag again. You'll see as I hold the cursor over the middle, it wants me to grab that button and move this particular gradient. It's harder for me to click in here and build another gradient. So I can hold the command and the option key and click on that point and it duplicates that radial gradient. So then I will go in and invert the mask and now I've got a mask that's exactly the same but now I'm controlling what's inside of that gradient and I can change the shape of this one and, uh, and now I can work with what's inside of the radial gradient once I get the outside the way I want it. 